Hi, hello, I'm Francesco Bianchi or Frankie. This is the very first attempt of an experiment that we thought to do together with Carsten. You know Carsten, the playful scrum master and agile coach from Lego? Hello and welcome. I'm going to do this uh, collaborative drawing thingy together with uh, Francesco, which is one of my very, very good friends. Oh, that's the one. So what we thought to do is to play, uh, play together on ideas, visualization, creation, ideation, but to do that asynchronously. So I would have done something on my own, then he would have done something on his own, and then we would have compared, and then we'll see what happens. We thought about picking a series of topics and extracting one randomly and giving ourselves a constraint because constraints are not so much something that bring us down, but something that can unlock creativity. In our case, constraint is time. We gave ourselves seven minutes to do whatever we could with whatever the prompt was. We set a, a first series of prompts for us. I'm gonna put here, and I'm gonna extract the first one. Let's give it a spin. Okay, illustrate a coaching conversation with a leader. Ah, oh, that's gonna be simple. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. So what I'm gonna do is now take my clock, put on a seven minute timer, and do whatever I can in seven minutes on illustrate a coaching conversation with a leader. So let's see, I'll try to talk out loud as I process things because that maybe could be interesting or maybe not, let's see. The first thing that I wanna do is to write a sentence. And what I write it here, because I don't know, it's high enough so it's comfortable for me, but then allows me a little bit of space on top to do, I don't know, whatever I may need to do. And no. Straight. A coaching conversation. <laughs> With a leader. So I'm glad I'm doing this because already there's something that I have would have never predicted that is catching my attention with this. And then we could argue that this is maybe not that much of coaching conversation. This is maybe more a conversation. So how do I get coaching? What could be a good, good metaphor for coaching if we are not this. into a and I'm gonna use it Cap and to solve uh, a potential problem, which is whistle. Hmm. How do I represent oh, a leader? Just wonder about it for a second. I have no idea. And then let's see. I have no idea. Uh, usually, especially mm. in the context of a team, a leader could be I don't know a product owner, for example. So my leader would typically represent yeah. like this, either with a dollar sign or with a euro sign because we are in Europe. I am in Europe at least. Or maybe with a light bulb. And maybe a dollar sign here again. But this is not necessarily a leader. It's maybe someone with an idea or someone with a need. For a leader, I want to tap into my heritage and I want to use this as a column. And then illustrate is the action that I need to do. So it's for me, draw that I'm already, that I'm already doing. Um, and then the other three key, key, key aspects are conversation and coaching. Now for the conversation bit, this is typically easy. Just imagine um, if I just get my advance, right? You this could have been much people. more pretty. I'm gonna put uh, yeah. a speech bubble. Now I need to so choose whether I put see. one or more. It could be either this or maybe the speech bubble like this, so it shows a bit directional 
it's more of a conversation as opposed to a monologue. Um, but then it has to be a coaching conversation. Uh, so maybe I need to put the speech bubble large enough to give an indication of what then... a conversation could be. Um, so maybe, for example, signs of a positive change. My speech bubble could be something like what this. What could that be? What could that be? What could that be? How much time do I have left? Well, one person is saying minutes. things, and the other one Signs of a is asking. Change. Yeah, mm. I quite like this. So now I just need to decide how to represent yeah. so, my leader mm. and how to represent my coach. Well, first of all, for some reason, I'm seeing oh. yeah, okay. the leader oh, 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 oh. here for some reason, but then the speech bubble would be inverted. Now I could do the speech bubble like this, or let me try to see if I can draw them almost the same like this, putting question mark here, and it would all work, it would both work. But there's a difference. In this case, I have a coach who starts with listening and then asks. For people in Western countries, uh, and I've just been to Japan, so I'm sensitive to the direction of reading now. But for people living in area, in our area of the world, we read from left to right. So we expect first someone who talks, and then someone who asks. In this configuration here, we have a different coach who prompts more questions, and they somehow inspire conversation by asking, and then, uh, and then the other person replying. Now, usually, I would follow this approach. But I am in a stage of life where I feel I want to be more active, hence my shift from Agile Coach to Collaboration Alchemy. So I'm going to opt for this version here. So my leader is going to stay on the right, following my intuition. Now we have also an excuse to justify that. And then I need to illustrate the other person talking. Now the other person talking, I would probably, the moment I start putting my question marks here, this is okay, I'm focusing on a coaching conversation, but, and not on the person playing the role of the coach. But, uh, and in that capacity, what could happen is that the leader coaches someone, versus I want to be the coach for a leader. So I need to have a coach and a leader. Yes. So here, these were actually, I started with two separate entities, could have been actually one coaching conversation. I'm going to keep them two. a coach who has a so, conversation. So one coaching minute left. A leader. I'm checking the time at 54 seconds. So oh, I need I to move very fast. To be facilitated so let's by draw the speech bubble. Strict first. timekeeper like me, at least from time to time, right? I could just hear myself say so one said, minute left put my coach to on the, the participants left of a workshop. My leader on the right. Now my coach. Oops. Hmm. My coach. Look like this. Okay, I'm going and to my leader. the coach. And I'm running out of time. In black and white or grayscale, whatever we call it, simply to say that they are not important. They are just there to as a column facilitate close. the. And in three, two, reflections. One second. For the coach. This is my visual representation. Coming up in seven minutes with explanation uh, of the That was time. And the why. So that was my. Just kill this. So that was my seven minutes illustrating a coaching conversation with a leader. Time flies. Anywho, I'm hoping that this has given you some appetite into sharing how would you illustrate a coaching conversation with a leader in seven minutes. If you do it, please share, maybe share your drawing or share your process. That would be super awesome. And as always, we look forward to seeing you next time because we hope we can do this again. Have an awesome day.